my bagger is finally getting some new handlebars. <laughs> All right, you guys, I've talked about it for probably since I bought the motorcycle. I didn't want to start doing too many modifications immediately because I really just wanted to go ride. I've put over 6,000 miles in less than a year on my road glide and half of that year I couldn't even ride because we were just under snow and ice. But the time has finally come. We are putting on some brand new handlebars. Let me show you what we're installing. It's probably going to be kind of hard to see, but I got these 10 inch bars from Harley Davidson. These are the fused low handlebars. And I really like them that they don't have like the meat hook style. So this is gonna add a much cleaner line to my bike and raise my hands up probably a little over an inch. But I have one problem. They don't fit on the bike. Fortunately, I think I might have found a solution. <laughs> R.I.P. Hair. Catch me on the runway, how about that? This is kind of nice, I'm gonna test it out on the bike. Hopefully I don't scratch the hell out of my paint. <laughs> Maybe flipped upside down. Let's see how that works. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. Yeah, all right, well, uh, let's hop on the bike and head over to Pharaoh. Man, I, this actually doesn't feel too bad carrying these bars down on my waist like that. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't eat a big dinner last night because I don't know if I would have been able to do this this morning. <laughs> but man, I'm just so excited. Oh, my gas light just came on. We gotta go get gas. I'm so excited to see this change and I want to talk about why I'm changing the bars. I, I personally have never liked any of the stock Harley Davidson bars I've had on any of my bikes. I didn't like the mini apes on the Dyna. I didn't, I don't really like the mini apes on this. Um, it's not the actual design of the bars that I dislike. It's the position of my hands. I truly prefer having my hands more in a parallel stance with my shoulders. I feel like I just get so much better control of the motorcycle. This has, this isn't anywhere near like the beach cruiser bar style, but that's kind of what it feels like when you're like leaning into the corners and you're just like gradually pushing and it's down low. So I'm just really excited to see how the ergonomics of the bike, the rider triangle, and how the performance changes after we install these bars. I don't think I need cable extensions, but Harley sent me some extensions anyway, which is good. So we got our bases covered, but for you guys, I cannot refer like whether or not you're gonna need extensions. Um, these are the stock bars. I do believe these are eight inch mini apes, eight or 10 inch mini apes. And then the ones that I got are the fused low bar. So they're really not going that much higher. It's just like, I don't know if you can tell the bar here kind of slants down. So they come up and then they slant back down. These ones come up and then they kind of slant parallel, not, not even too much higher. So I'm thinking that my hands are now going to be probably just, just right up here, which is where I'm really wanting them. And then I'm actually going to put back on my stock mirrors. So if you can't tell, I have these Dominion mirrors right here that I got when I got my Dominion collection to make Appa a bit more bronze in tone and not so heavy black. I love the Dominion parts in like the engine casing and stuff. Oh God, that sounds horrible. Um, but the mirrors themselves, I think they look a little goofy on the all black bars, the black hand guards. And I just kind of don't like the size of the mirrors. They're that like coffin shape and they ever so slightly warp around the edges. So the, the mirror, the glass kind of warps and I just don't get a clear view of the cars behind me. And at the end of the day, I want to ride a bike that looks cohesive and cool, but not really. I want to be able to see and be seen. Like safety is definitely my main priority. You guys know, if you've seen any of my other install videos, it's more like watch me rage quit and cry. Like I hate, I hate working on the bike. That is, that is a part of my human nature. I do not enjoy wrenching. I do not enjoy modding my bike. I do not enjoy working on it. I don't even enjoy checking the tire pressure. I just want to freaking ride. 
That's all I want to do. I don't enjoy spending time in the garage with my bikes. I like seeing them change. I don't want to do it. And you can give me shit all you want for that. It doesn't matter. If you don't like to bake, you're not going to bake. If you don't like to go roller skating, you're not going to roller skate. There are just certain things in your life that you dislike doing. And that's okay. So I don't wrench on my bikes. I never will. I hate it. <laughs> so of course we're going to Farrow Harley Davidson today because I'm making them install the handlebars. I, I actually asked Jordan if he wanted to do it because he changed the bars on my Dyna. And those of course were a huge pain in the ass. He's like, no, I am not touching the road glide. You got heated grips. You got too much technology jammed into those things. I'm not doing it. I was like, all right. Hey, Pharaoh. <laughs> so we're going to go meet up with my guy, James. He's worked on my bike ever since the day I got it. He knows it like the back of his hand and he's going to get the bars going for me. But first, gas. Come on. Here we go. This is kind of, kind of relaxing. Nice place to, you know, rest my arms. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. At least it's not a tire. I've seen people ride around with tires. Oh, oh boy. Uh, $23? That's it? Are you full? Wow. Hmm. I feel like that's pretty average. I guess we'll see. Maybe if I continue driving like a grandma, it won't be so bad. There we go. Oh my God, my fuel gauge wasn't going up for a second. I was like, hello? <laughs> All right, time to hop on the interstate and get to the dealership. I've had a couple of you guys ask because you know that Pharaoh has two dealerships. Uh, we call we call it Faro East and Faro North. Um, I get all of my service done at Faro East. It's just kind of closer to me. If you're going to go test ride a motorcycle or something, honestly, both of the dealerships are great. You get free test rides all the time, but Faro North has, they're both right off of like crazy interstates, I-70 and I-71. But I personally think Faro North has a bit better back roads if you want to go test ride some bikes. gas mileage <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna follow this gas truck because it says coffee yeah but I'm not gonna follow him for too long because that is not fun with the buffeting even on a road glide time to jam some music and zap over to the dealership finally Already, I would have rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. It's happening. Yeah. You guys remember James? He's worked on everything on this bike, so he's going to help me replace the bars today. And like I said, we're going to be taking these off. I'm debating on if I want to keep the Memphis Shade hand guards, but these little buttes about to be here. Yeah. So James just told me, he's like, I don't like this part. And I realized like, oh yeah, those are some pretty solid 90 degree angles to run uh, cables through. <laughs> yep. Glad I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Get that all off. Damn, glad we're not doing T-bars. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
first try. You got it? The way you said that made it sound like something bad happened. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I did so good. <laughs> all right, we're moving along. Just put the rock form mount on. Got this all plugged in and going. So it's time to start buttoning her up. <laughs> Rogue like a problem with this piece in different bars. Your console fitting in there right with uh, the force lock or ignition lock later on. So James just told me that a lot of aftermarket bars that you buy, especially for the road glides, they're so picky about how they put like get put back together. And uh, sometimes they just won't go back in or your ignition won't go back in, stuff like that. So he's just making sure, doing all the little dotting his I's and crossing his T's and uh, we should be back on the road. So as you guys know, I always get my service done here at Barrow Harley Davidson East location, but I kind of wanted to highlight a couple reasons why I always come to the dealership instead of doing things myself. So for example, my favorite thing to get done on my bike, especially before my road trips, is they do a pre-trip check. It's not like a full service, but you can bring your bike into the dealership and then they will go over all the nuts and bolts, go over your fluid levels, check your tires, your brake pads, stuff like that. And I'm about to go on a thousand mile road trip by myself. So I can't do things like that. So I'm gonna have them do my pre-trip check as well as install the handlebars. And just, I mean, they're busy, you guys. So if you are seriously interested in getting your bike ready for the riding season, call ahead, schedule ahead because I mean, they're cranking through. They are doing bike after bike after bike, but now is the time everyone wants to ride. So yeah, my Farrow Harley Davidson service department, this is where I spend most of my time. Boop. Bam. So nice. you check, this is the best way to check your fitment is if when you, when you do four o'clock, put it in four o'clock, you gotta be able to push all the way down and pull your key out. Okay. So, poop. It's in. It works. In. Everything works. Everything fits, fits good together. Like a glove. And so much better. Looks good. Yeah. Perfect. All right. He got the bike all done. Took it out for the test ride. Everything's good. So, yep. we're going to hit the road. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. It's it's actually his day off, and he came in to do this for me before my road trip. So go yeah. give James a follow. Here is his Instagram. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. 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 Always. Until next time. See you later. Woo. Wow. Oh, dude, this feels actually not that bad. They are a bit further ahead of me, but... Wow, yeah, it's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> My gauges, my clusters are a little bit closer to my fingers over there now. So I wonder how many times I'm going to accidentally press the horn trying to hit the turn signal. <laughs> Man, bike needs clean bad, but dude, it just changes the whole, the whole look. They are shaking a little bit. Let me know how you guys look. I mean, that GoPro has image stabilization, so you're shaking pretty good. Look at this one. Oh, you're tilting down. Oh my god. Have you been looking down that entire time? I am so sorry. This is obviously my QC process. Man, yeah, I'm just slightly extended a little bit compared to where I was. But I knew that was going to happen because the bars had to come up. The grips had to come up. My hands had to come up. <laughs> Ooh, turning feels wild. <laughs> Oh, I almost honked the horn. The tire does not sound good. Let's get away from that guy. Wow. 
completely changed the look of the bike, man. It's wild. The one thing I didn't think of, the stock bars had really good mounting points for a lot of things. So this right now, I'm not too sure how that's going to hold up long term, but it looks good. Man, the learning curve of getting used to the ergos of a new bike or new bars, new parts, anything. It's a, it's interesting for sure. So far, I'm digging it. Well, I just got back home and that was definitely an interesting first ride. I honestly didn't mind them too much, but I can tell I'm gonna have an adjustment period to get used to, which I better get used to it quick because I am heading to New York for a 500 mile road trip here in less than two weeks. Once again, huge shout out to Pharaoh Harley Davidson for getting these bars done for me as fast as they did. Seriously, we did not spend a lot of time on this. James did an amazing job and they got me in super fast. Always a pleasure. Let me know what you think of these bars. I think I did a really good job hitting the nail on the head with the style that I wanted. I just got to get used to them a little bit more. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and until my next one, you be good and I'll see you later.